Welcome. In this video, we'll show you how to control the Kemper Profiler Amp with our Pacer MIDI Doll Foot Switch Controller. Pacer already comes with an onboard preset to get you started. Now let's take a closer look at how Pacer works. Pacer's connections are located on the back of the unit. Use a standard MIDI cable to connect it to the profiler. Pacer's MIDI out to the profiler's MIDI in. You have to use the MIDI connection and not USB, because the profiler does not receive any MIDI data via the USB-A port. So you'll have to power Pacer from an external power supply. Plug it into Pacer's DC socket connector. Use a standard 9V DC PSU with at least 600 MA. Now you are ready to control your profiler from Pacer. If you also want to control your DAW's transport controls via Pacer, you'll have to connect your computer with Pacer's USB port with the included USB cable. Now check that Profiler receives MIDI data from Pacer by verifying the amp's MIDI channel setting. Press the System button and go to the page MIDI settings. The second control below the display is used to set the MIDI channel. The factory default for this setting is channel 1. That's also what you need to make it work with Pacer. The setting options at the top of the display are not relevant for this. Pacer has three operating modes. You select them from the first three foot switches in the top row. You get access to DAW control features if you press the switches with the track and transport icon labels. The track switch activates track controls. The transport switch activates transport controls. To control the profiler from Pacer, select preset mode by pressing the first foot switch. It is labeled preset. Now select the factory preset that we created for Profiler. It is stored in preset location C2. Press the data encoder once, then turn it until KPA C2 appears on the display. Now press the data encoder a second time to load the preset. You can also select presets from the foot switches. This works as follows. Press and hold the preset foot switch until preset is shown at the top of the display. Now press the foot switch with the label C in the upper row, and switch 2 in the lower row. This also loads the Kemper preset C2. This preset lets you activate or deactivate a selected rig's FX modules from the foot switches in the bottom row. So this is sort of the pedal board for Profiler. It is quite handy in recording situations, when you've manually selected a rig on the Profiler ramp, and now you want to switch individual effects on and off while performing. Of course, this only works if an effect is actually activated in the corresponding Profiler effect module. If this is not the case, nothing much will happen, apart from the Profiler showing an empty message in its display. This Pacer preset works in both Profiler operating modes, Browse and Perform mode.
You can customize this preset for your own needs, and it is also set up for the use with expression pedals. What profiler perimeters you can control with this, and how you can also control your doll with Pacer, we'll explain in another video.